Hi, my name is Terry Bockover, owner and operator of Indy Speedy IT Services of Indiana. In this video tutorial, we're going to cover setting program defaults. And what I mean by that is that we have multiple web browsers on our system, and maybe we like Firefox or Safari better than Windows Explorer. So when you get your Windows 7 operating system, by default, naturally, Windows Explorer is your default web browser. So if we want to change that, we can minimize our web browser here and we will go to the start menu on the lower left hand corner of our screen and we'll go to default programs now when we select default programs select set your default programs this will bring up a menu of applications that you can set as default on your Windows 7 system now maybe I want to associate Firefox and have that be the default program every time I click on an internet shortcut or download a file I can set this program as default at the lower part of the screen and I usually click it once or twice just to make sure I've selected it and then once you have you just minimize this screen here and we'll type in a web address www.indyspeedyit.com and we should have a window pop up in Mozilla Firefox which we can see up here at the top of the screen Mozilla Firefox and we hit the help button about Mozilla Firefox. So we know we got the Mozilla browser. So we'll close that. Now we'll go back up to Windows here and say that we want to, you know, use Safari. We're doing different things right now at work or something like that that requires us to use Safari. And, you know, you don't have to uninstall the programs or disable Windows Explorer or anything like that. That's kind of extreme and may mess up your operating system. So we set this program as default as well at the lower part of the screen there. We minimize that. Let's type in a web address www.indyspeedyit.com. Hit enter. And now we get it opening up in Safari. And we see the little Apple logo right there. So, so we know we picked the right application for what we needed right now. So, so that's how you set program defaults in Windows. Uh, it lets you fine-tune your operating system you know the way you want to use it and the programs that you want to associate with certain file types uh, so that you can have the experience that you need with Windows 7 so we hope you find this video tutorial uh, informative and wish you a lot of luck in Windows 7 thank you and have a great day